Welcome to Allie's Attic Show, where you never know what kind of surprise you're going to find in my attic. I'm your host, Allie, and today my surprise is a friend of mine, which makes this even better. She's also Canadian, Canadian talent. She is a driven, passionate, and versatile country singer-songwriter with an instinctive attitude for fresh melodies and uses her music as a medium to inspire, share, and tell stories that can relate to her audience in a unique way. Please say hello to Haley Verrill. Hello, Haley. Hello, Allie. How are you? I am awesome. How are you? I'm fantastic. Thank you. Good. I've been waiting for this. (laughs) Okay, so obviously I've heard you sing on Up Live um, because that's where I met you. And you're in Ontario, which is awesome. And how long, like, tell me your journey, Haley. How old were you when you started doing this and picked up the guitar and said, okay, this is what I'm doing? Well, actually, I was 12 or 13 years old when I got my first guitar for Christmas uh, from my dad. And he taught me the G chord, and that was it. And now, as I'm 21 years old, I'm better than him. <laughs> Ah, that's always good. Well, good. Now, do you read music or is it all like you just pick it up? Well, I used to start with classical music and jazz music as a young pianist. Um, so I was taught how to play piano and how to read notes. But as I was older, I started thinking, you know what, instead of reading notes off of a page, when I hear music, I start playing with it. So um, I started learning more by ear as I went along and grew up. Okay. Wow. I can't even I can't even sing properly. But anyway, um, now you I've like I said I've heard you sing. I love your voice. Now I also love the song choices you pick because I mean when you're on Up Live that's what you do. You sing. That's your talent. And you seem to pick kind of like is it rockabilly? It's like older. I don't know. It's kind of a different country sound. I really enjoy the older country tunes. I like the storytelling they have, and that's why I chose older country. So with the songwriting, I also kind of write older country, but kind of do it in a new country way because that's what today's people are listening to. Yeah, and I I agree. And I love the old songs too. I mean, not just country. I love the old rock because they all have stories. I mean, that's when music was good. (laughs) Not saying it's not good now. (laughs) It's still good. I just love your style. Um, I also love that you can take songs like, you know, Britney Spears and who, who sings Hit Me One More Time? That is Britney Spears. Okay, that's what I thought. You can take songs like that and you can make them your own. You put a unique spin on them. So you know that it's the song, but it doesn't sound the same. It just sounds like Haley. I just love making songs my own. I choose songs that are maybe funny, off my personality a little bit. And I just like making them my own and change them up because I feel that the artist created that for themselves. But I want to take what they need and make it my own because I'm covering it. I'm not trying to match it. Yeah, and you do it well. Like you do it really well, <laughs> and you are you. Your humor is contagious. By the way, um, if you guys ever download Up Live from your app store, make sure you're looking for Haley Varel. Am I saying your last name right, Varel? Varel. It is Haley Varel, like a barrel. Varel, barrel. Okay, gotcha. Um, make sure you find her because you are gonna you're gonna be happy that you did because she's very entertaining. <laughs> so now you're gigging, right? Like you're going out and playing. Yes, I have gigs almost every single weekend. And that's just in the Ontario area right now? Yeah, that is around my hometown and a few cities over. Okay. Now, you also made the paper. Yes. <laughs> it was a really good write-up. I, it was very impressive. And you didn't even know they were doing that or that it was out? Um, I knew that they were doing it because they did interview me uh, for that paper, but I did not know what was going to be out. And the cool thing is a fellow friend of ours on up live who is also in ontario she found it and sent it like she posted it everywhere (laughs) um okay so what are your goals going forward Haley? like where do you want to go with this my goal is to be on the big stage singing in front of as many people as possible because the the songs i write are to inspire people to make people just feel happy Uh, because i even have this project called singing for smiles where I'm going around to different retirement homes and singing old country classics and just bringing smiles to people's faces. So I want to be able to do that more with my originals by having that bigger audience. Wow, I didn't know you did that. That is really cool. <laughs> I love it when people I love it when people do stuff like that. Um, and you do bring smiles to people's faces. Like you were funny. You <laughs> I mean beyond your talent, which you're you're super talented, but you're just you're funny and you're just you and I just I love you for it. Um, now you, like, 
you said you started when you were 12 or 13 and you're 21 now, you said, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, 21 feels ancient to me. But anyway, um, <laughs> now you've obviously learned kind of some, you know, tricks of the trade or what works or what people should do to kind of make it in the industry, like just based on what you've gone through so far. So if somebody was just starting out, um, what kind of advice would you give them? The advice I would give them is just keep going because, you know what, it doesn't happen overnight or it rarely does. You just got to keep pushing. You're going to get rejected. You may get accepted right away, but you're going to always get rejected. You got to use those rejections as those to make you stronger and keep going because I always got rejected. But now as I keep going, people are starting to realize, you know what, this person and this person's in the industry now, this person is good. Yeah. And, and you got you to start for free. I, I always start singing for free. Um, but as soon as you start getting more exposure, you got to stop saying, yes, I'm going to play for free. When you need to make money, you need to make money. Wow, that's great advice. I mean, I, I mean, I interview so many people in the indie industry, obviously. And a lot of them talk about, you know, having to pay their way to gigs and they lug their own equipment and set up and then tear down and lug it back home. So they're paying for gas. They're paying for, you know, so by the time they do get paid, you're kind of basically paying, paying for free anyway. Yes, because so much labor and so much work goes into practicing the song. And that's what some venues and some people don't realize is that there's so much work behind the scenes, not just us going there and singing for a couple of hours. There's long, long practices make that music sound as good as it is. Yeah, exactly. And I love that you talked about not being an overnight success because I, my big concern, I guess because I'm a mom and a grandma, I don't know, when I see younger people starting out in the industry, just because I know kind of how it is, I'm not an artist, I've just talked to enough of them, it kind of scares me because I'm thinking, you know, they think they're going to be an overnight success. They don't realize the hard work that goes into it and how much self-promotion you have to do. Oh, yeah, and I've seen the music industry has changed so much, and it keeps changing, that it gets so much harder. Yeah, it is. But you know what I love about indie music? (laughs) It's different. (laughs) It doesn't sound the same. (laughs) I don't have to Shazam things. (laughs) I know know that, you know, it's a different artist. That's my biggest thing. I listen to new music, obviously, because I want to keep in touch, and I'm constantly Shazamming them to see if it's the same artist or who it is, because they all sound the same, (laughs) and that's not the artist's fault, and I just want everybody to understand that. It's just what the industry is telling them they have to do when they sign, and, you know, they're on the big label. Um, and I think indie music is kind of making a comeback um, because people want to hear different stuff. And that's what I love about you. You sound like Haley. You don't sound like anybody else. Like when I hear you, I know it's you. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. You're welcome. So now what two songs are we going to hear from you, Haley? Um, one of them is my original called Daddy, which brings me back to my older country roots. I wanted to try and write more of an older style country tune because that's what I really enjoy. So that song talks about a story of a woman and a daughter's life, um, just of losing her father and losing faith in the Lord and then having it come back after years and years of just hearing that story be told. Yeah, and it's a beautiful and song. Then my second, oh, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> and then my second song talks about how you got to love me like you mean it. And this one goes up to all the, the girls out there and the women out there. But being in a relationship you got to love each other like you know. Yeah. And I've had a friend, and I wrote this song for, for friends or anybody that's been in a relationship that hasn't been working out where one person in the relationship isn't really respecting them. Yeah, and that's a great message to get out there. You have to be with somebody who loves you like they mean it <laughs> and accepts you just for who, exactly. they, who you are. Um, now, you're, you're in a relationship, and he's a drummer, right? Yes. And he, he's starting on Up Live, and he's very talented. Um, does he ever come and play with you? Yes. We actually have a band called The Loot Trails, which we started as a duo, but now we are working on creating it bigger. And we're doing more of new country style, but he's a drummer in that band. That's awesome. I think that's awesome, working together with your other half. <laughs> and especially in music. <laughs> like, it's not very often. You know what I mean? So it's really cool. So, Haley, what's coming up for you in the future? Well, in March, I will be heading out to Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, which is a couple hours away from Nashville, to be competing in the final competition in front of a bunch of music industry professionals. 
I was chosen as one of the top 10 of Ontario to go down there. That is cool. Well, keep in, well, I'm going to know anyway. I wish you the best of luck. So you have a website, HaleyVeralMusic.com, so people can go there, purchase your music, find out more about you. And you also have a YouTube channel, which is also Haley Veral Music. So everybody make sure you subscribe to that and go and check out Haley. Well, I want to say thank you so much for coming on the show. And anything new happens, you're always welcome to come back. I mean, we're obviously going to be talking pretty much daily anyway. We do already. Um, <laughs> but yeah, and I wish you the best success, Haley, because I love your music and I love your originality. So I hope you soar. Thank you very much, Haley. I really appreciate it. And thank you for having me on your show. Anytime. And thank you for joining me on Allie's Attic Show. Keep checking my YouTube channel because you never know what kind of surprises you're going to find in my attic. Everybody have a great day. Cheers.
loves to child How daddy made mama smile When daddy died It broke her heart That's when our life was torn apart Daddy was a preacher Daddy had a heart Shared the Lord's story that now she has forgot I still remember the stories that he told About heaven where those who believe will go Many years have passed since daddy's been gone I still remember the mama's moved on Daddy's pictures have faded His Bible's in the drawer Since the day he left us Mama don't pray no more Daddy was a preacher Daddy had a heart Share the Lord's story that Now she has forgot I still remember the stories that he told About heaven where those who believe will go As I got older and Mama got gray, she spoke to the Lord and found her faith again. She smiled at me, I looked in her eyes, she said, bury me where your daddy lies. Daddy was a preacher, daddy had a heart. Now she has forgot I still remember the stories that he told About heaven where those who believe will go Daddy was a preacher, daddy had a heart Share the Lord's story that now she has forgot That he told about heaven where she truly wants to go.